Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So I'm recording this video I think after a gap of 20 days. Uh, I was busy with a lot of things so I was not able to record the videos in these days but yes, now I'm quite fine and I have time now to make videos regularly for the upcoming CSI net exam. So till the exam is there, I'll try to make very regularly videos for you guys, right? And for that I have taken uh, like a poll on the community tab regarding what uh, type of videos you want which series you want me guys to start and all so i have got a lot of requests for aptitude portion videos and aptitude related videos so i'll be talking about that and i'll be i'll be starting that series very soon uh, aptitude series especially for csi net exam if you have any other suggestions you can drop that down in the comment section below but what this video is about today this video is about uh, the preparation strategy now if you are watching this video in the mid of uh, may so you have roughly around one month for the CSI net exam and now is the time when you have to act when you have to give a little bit more from your side because the time is limited everybody is preparing for it there are few things which you should know which you should do and that's what this video is going to be all about now in general this video can be useful for everyone over here whosoever is preparing for this CSI net exam but I'll be talking particularly for those who are uh, who have already given the exam who are under who are called as repeaters although i don't use that term for students but yeah uh, the one who has already given csr net exam earlier be it like they have uh, sincerely prepared for the exam or be it like they have just given this exam casually it doesn't matter but if you have given this exam earlier this video i'll be talking about a lot of ma lot many things which you can relate to also if you are someone who is giving this exam for the first time there are many points which you can consider from this particular video all right so the first thing is because you have very less time and you must be preparing you must be covering your syllabus so the time is now it's it's like an alarm now that you have to finish your syllabus as early as possible so whatever you are doing organic inorganic physical whatever you are studying right now you have to finish that as soon as possible so that uh, you don't end up like in the last 10 or uh, last five days you should not end up uh, understanding and studying or covering your syllabus okay so you don't have to do that in the last one uh, like in the last 10 days so that's why this is the time when you have to like you have to understand that now is the time when I have to start uh, like I have to finish my syllabus as soon as possible whatever your target is okay one thing which I want to make very clear that you don't have to cover entire syllabus of CSI net exam in order to qualify there are so many strategies so many people who have discussed about it again I'm telling if you just go with limited topics if you just go with those topics uh, which give you somewhere around 200 marks in the exam if that much weightage you are studying that is enough for the exam okay the question paper which comes is of 360 marks it's not of 200 marks it's of 360 marks out of those 360 marks you have to only score 200 so that is uh, there are so many uh, like options there are so many choices in the question paper that's why you have to choose some topics specifically when you are preparing for CSI net exam all right now the that was the first thing that finish your syllabus as early as possible second thing is now if you are not doing questions in the last uh, like if you have not started already solving previous years questions now is the time when you have to start solving previous years questions okay previous years questions are must must important for anyone for anyone whosoever is giving this exam be it beginner be it someone who has already given it doesn't matter you have to solve previous years questions many people do you know they are not they, they just, just think that okay one or two years i will do that will be enough no do at least from june 2011 till uh, uh the last CSI and that was in september 2022 so you will get roughly around 20 question papers 20 22 question papers and all of them you have to solve at least solve those questions which you have prepared at least solve questions from those topic which you have prepared that is going to give you so much help okay that I cannot tell you okay anyone if you ask anyone who has qualified or anyone who is teaching anybody who is in this CSR net they all will tell you that what is the importance of a previous years question so previous years question is a must it doesn't matter uh, whatsoever topic you have taken for your preparation you have to solve previous years questions and don't uh, do conjuicy okay in choosing questions don't don't do that okay you have to uh, like you have to solve questions as much as possible now for that of course i have launched a, a like a ebook in which we have all the previous years questions solved i will give you link for that ebook in the i button you can click and if you want you can purchase that ebook that contains all the previous years uh, question papers with uh, topic wise solved questions okay so that you can consider 
so this was the second thing which you have to do in the last uh, 30 days or in the last one month third thing is very important for those who have already given the exam those who are considered to be repeaters for them okay see you have given the exam you know how the exam is what types of questions are asked you have actually faced exam once so consider that as a advantage okay use it as an advantage for yourself okay now since you are already aware about the question paper you are already aware about the uh, the interface of the exams you don't have to worry about those things much now what you have to do is you also have your previous years uh, like the previous year of answer key or the response sheet okay now here is something which which works and which every student has to do if he has not qualified the exam this thing everybody should do because this helps you in the next preparation if you are planning to do if you are planning to prepare next right so there are three a's which i talk about three a okay first a is you have to uh, like analyze your result okay you have to see the result you have to see the res response sheet you have to analyze it analyze means you have to see that which part you have made mistakes which part you have uh, you know uh, you uh, you were uh, you thought ki you know that concept but you were not able to solve questions then which topic were there which you studied for the exam but you were not able to do questions so so many things you will get to know when you will analyze your answer key okay your response sheet so you have to analyze that answer key or the response sheet the second a is to accept because many people many students they don't even they don't accept ki they have uh, given like the exam was not good or they have not got good marks see on one point it is fine to ignore it but at the later stage it's better to accept it and try not to repeat those things okay because many people they see the result and they try to make it as an excuse that okay last time i went in a marriage that's why i was not able to qualify or that last time i was not serious that's why i was not able to qualify so many excuses they make with right uh, with the result but that you should not do you have to accept that yes you have studied whatever you you could you have done but you were not able to qualify so if you don't accept now uh, you will not work hard for the next time you will take the next exam also casually so that is why it is very important it is always advised to accept the things and try to uh, like improve that for the next time all right so first is analyze second is accept and the third one is to act upon them okay the third a is to act now act means as i said you, once you will analyze you will get to know where you have made mistake uh, what portion you were not able to uh, you were not confident or which portion you were confident but you were not able to do questions so now all those things all those analysis you have to act upon you have to work upon it so that you don't repeat them in the next exam because many people are in a loop they are giving exam again and again twice thrice and they are not analyzing their previous result and what they are doing is they are repeating their mistakes again and again that should not happen you have to come out of that loop and that's how you will be able to you know score good marks and you will be able to qualify the exam so this is a very important point especially for those who are uh, someone who have already given the exam disadvantage those people who are giving for the first time first time they don't have that all right so that is the third thing which you have to do is or uh, you have to do all these three things if you have given the exam try to utilize all these three a's for it okay so these were certain things which you have to do in the last few days after i i guess when the 10 15 days will be left i'll be make i'll be making a separate video regarding what could be done in the last few days but right now these are the things which you have to do finish your syllabus as early as possible uh, start doing previous years question from those topics which you have studied and if you have given the exam already like if you have given exam in the previous year try to utilize all the three a's try to analyze your result try to accept that result and try to act upon your mistakes all right so that's all for this video i'll be launching soon the series for aptitude portion on this particular channel videos will be quite regular for that and uh, if you guys have any other suggestions any other requests please drop them uh, drop them down in the comment section below and that's it from a side for this particular video see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so an academy has recently launched two new uh, types of subscription these are three month subscription and nine month subscription for the csr net exam and these are launched for the upcoming csr net exam that is three month subscription is for the june exam and the nine month subscription is for december exam so in case if you are targeting these exams these are the subscription which you should actually get this subscription you are going to get all the courses of an academy all the detailed courses which are there on the an academy you are also going to get access to all the interactive live
courses live classes where you can interact with the educator you can ask doubts over there and also you get access to all the live test and quizzes so a lot of mock tests lot of quizzes are there on the academy platform so you get access to all of them if you take or any of the subscription so in case if you are preparing for csi net exam and if you want to give final touch to your preparation uh, this subscription is going to help you a lot so go for either three month subscription or nine month subscription for the csi june 2023 or CSR December 2023 exam depending upon which exam you are targeting upon. Now again you can use my referral code that is N underscore Huda in order to get an additional discount on the subscription fees. So as you click on this the subscription fees decreases by 10% and that's the benefit of applying this uh, referral code. So get the subscription and give the final touch to your preparation of CSR net exam.